Hi friends, welcome to Python Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss Python variables. Before coming to it, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification message whenever we upload a new video. Coming back to Python variable, a variable is a name that refers to a value. Variable is also known as an identifier. In Python, uh, we no need to specify the type of variable because Python is a type infer language and smart enough to get variable type automatically. Yes, that's what we call as infer language. Right. Now coming to the rules to name a variable in Python. The first character of the variable must be an alphabet or underscore. All the characters except the first character may be an alphabet of a lowercase uh, from A to Z, uppercase from A to Z, uh, underscore or a digit. Identifier name must not contain any white space or special character. Identifier name must not be similar to any keyword defined in the language. Identifier names are case sensitive. For example, uh, we can see these uh, two variables, my variable and my variable that is with the caps m and v is not the same okay right so we will see some examples for these uh, python variables suppose here we are going to give the variable as x equals you will give 100 next we will uh, create a variable name and we will give a name here we will give Joseph. We will create one more uh, variable salary and we will give the salary as as float. We will give dot uh, decimal five zero. If you observe here, we can see we did not specify the type of these uh, variables. Yes, so here uh, in Python, the variables uh, get its types automatically. That's why we say Python uh, is a type in for language. Now we will print these variables. Print, we will print x. And here we can see the value, it's 100. Now we will print name. Here we can see the name Joseph. Now we will print salary. And here we can see the salary. Coming back to the rules to name a variable in Python. Uh, here we can see these two points. The first character of the variable must be an alphabet or underscore. All the characters except the first character may be an alphabet of lowercase, uppercase, underscore, or digit. So we cannot use a special character in our variable. Right, so we will see that. Uh, we will create a variable uh, which is start with this uh, underscore. Then we are going to give name. Here, here we are going to give the name as uh, Anson and we will see it. It can be in single quote or double quote. Then we will uh, print underscore name. It's working. And here we can see the next point. Identifier name must not contain any white space or a special character. Yes, we will see that. Coming back to uh, Python, here we are going to create a variable. Uh, my name, my space name. Then we are going to give a name here as Eric. And here we can see invalid syntax. Here we given white space. It won't accept. Okay, now we will uh, try with uh, a special character, my hyphen name equals Eric. So here we can see can't assign to operator. Yes, so uh, in an identifier we should not use this white space or a special characters except underscore. Here we will uh, try with the underscore, name underscore so it's a my underscore name 
we will give the name as auric it's accepted we will print it print it print my underscore a name it's working coming to the next rule identifier name must not be similar to any keyword defined in the language yes that's correct so we should not use any keywords like finally for is print uh, while etc whatever we use in our python okay we will uh, try in our python shell suppose here i am going to use while then we are going to assign a number of 500 so we can see invalid syntax okay we will uh, try another one import we will give a name no it's not working yes so we cannot use any keywords uh, as an identifier in python coming to the last point identifier names are case sensitive yes we will see an example for this here we are going to create a variable my variable equals 100 and we are going to print so instead of this uh, my variable uh, here we are going to give m as caps also v as caps so here we can see uh, it's not defined so it's case sensitive if you want to print this variable uh, we have to use as it is everything in uh, small letters so we have to give a print my variable and here we can see the result so keep in mind in python identifier names are case sensitive now we are coming to uh, python multiple assignments yeah in python uh, it allows uh, to assign a value to multiple variables as a single statement so it's called a multiple assignment uh, and this multiple assignment we can do in uh, two ways assigning single value to multiple variables assigning multiple values to multiple variables okay first of all we will see assigning single value to multiple variables so we will create multiple variables suppose we will give a equals b equals c equals 50 yes so here we can see this value 50 is assigned to these variables a b and c so we will print one by one and we will verify it first we will print a we can see it's 50 now we will print b okay it's 50 now we will print c it's 50 we will print all these variables together a b c we can give a print a comma b comma c here we can see the values of this uh, uh, value of these uh, variables now we will see assigning multiple values to multiple variables uh, we will see uh, an example suppose here we are going to give a comma b comma c equals we will give the values 100 comma 200 comma 300 now we will print each variable and we will see the result first we will print a here we can see it's 100 now we will print b And here we can see it's a 200 the second value now we will print 300 so it's not 300 we have to print a C <laughs> okay right uh, print C it's 300 now we'll try to print all these variables together print a comma B comma C and here we can see it's 100 200 and 300 yes 
uh, okay here if you observe the result we can see the values will be assigned in the order in which variable appears so here we can see this 100 is assigned to a 200 is assigned to the next variable it's b and 300 is assigned to next variable c now we will come to uh, python tuples in tuple a different type of data can be stored tuple is a similar like a list each data is separated by comma tuples are enclosed in parentheses and cannot be changed okay now we will create a tuple and we will see how it works uh, we will create a variable tup and here we are going to use parentheses uh, we will use a string eric then we will use a number 500 then again we will use a string okay then we will give a float uh, we'll give a 45.60 so this uh, tuple is created here we can see in this uh, tuple uh, we have different uh, types uh, such as uh, characters a uh, number a uh, floating point etc now we will uh, print our uh, tuple print tup and here we can see the result suppose we want to print the uh, first value uh, in this uh, tuple so we will uh, try this uh, tup the square bracket we will give here zero okay and we will try this so here we can see it's uh, eric even we can try tup1 it's like array in text the first value uh, uh, is 0 then 1 so it will print 500 okay we can try tube 3 it's a 45.6 oh here I did not use print so don't confuse uh, we are using Python shell uh, even we can do with the print uh, top of And here we can see the result here this we can print in another way also we will see that uh, we will give print okay then we will give a tup oh it's a print tup and here I am going to give one colon then we will see the result so here we got 500 MGR then uh, 45.6 so from index number one we got so here we cannot see the zeroth index that is the value Eric okay we will uh, try one more print TUP uh, we can give a two colon so here we can see 0, 1, 2, only MGR and 45.6. We can print from the beginning also. So we can give TUP with 0. Then colon. It's just like printing that uh, TUP variable. Right, now we will create one more tuple uh, TUP1 equals. We will give a name here and send then a value 400 we create the second tuple uh, we can check it TUP1 so it's here now we will uh, try to print uh, like this uh, TUP plus second tuple it's a tup1 and here we can see the result in single line this is the first tuple and here we can see the second tuple now we are going to see python dictionary dictionary is a collection and which works based on a key value pair 
It works like an associated array where no two keys can be same. Dictionaries are enclosed by curly braces. Dictionary values can be retrieved by square bracket. We will create a dictionary and we will see how it works. Okay, we will create a dictionary equals we have to use a curly brace. Suppose we are going to create emb id. Then we have to give a colon. We are going to give the emb id as a 200. Then we have to uh, give a comma. Coming to the next key, we will give emp better we will give e name in single quote. This is the key e name. A better we'll give here e id. Okay. E name colon then here is the answer we will give Eric comma then we can give we will give a e DPT department uh, it's IT then we will close this curly brace okay so it's working we can verify it dictionary and here we can see the result these are the keys eid e name then edpt okay now in the theory they said no two keys can be same okay we will try that we will copy this dictionary okay and we will paste it here and here we are going to give instead of e name we are going to give the same uh, key what we given in the beginning eid then we will uh, change this uh, variable name uh, dictionary one then we will try it oh it's executed there is no error uh, okay we will uh, print this variable and we will see the result dictionary one and we will see the result eid eric Oh, we cannot see the first EID 200. We can see it's neglected. Then start from the uh, second EID Eric, then uh, uh, E department IT. So we should not give this uh, uh, ID same. Okay, that's great. Now we want to uh, show all the IDs from this dictionary. Uh, we can give it uh, dictionary dot we want to see only the keys so give keys here we can see uh, all the keys eid e name edpt yeah it's correct now we can print the values dictionary dot values and here we can see only the values 200 okay then the e name it's Eric, and here we can see the e d d p t i t. Right, so friends, in this video we have seen Python variables, tuples, and dictionaries. Friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below, and if you like our videos, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Just stay tuned. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.